let's get situated here. Hey guys, if you're new here, I'm April. I'm a skincare and cosmetic chemist and talk about all things skincare, back end, front end, of all things skincare. So if you're interested in that, definitely hit that like button for me down below. You know you want to do it. Do it right now. <laughs> We're here every week talking about skincare. Also, subscribe to the channel for a lot more videos like this. You're gonna like it. All right, y'all, as you guys know from the title, today's video is all about ordinary ingredients you should not be combining together. The ordinary, I know, is a place where you just literally click on the website and you're like, huh? It's literally a gold mine. You have to know your shit to really know what you're looking for on that website. But I'm here to tell you that I can maybe help make your decision just a little bit easier. A little bit, poquito, okay? Um, I've made a video right here, you should check it out, on skincare ingredients you should not be combining. So I will again preface in this video and say, I have used some of these ingredients together and didn't notice anything. So this is not, this is not me saying this is like a given, like for sure if you use ingredients. Basically, I'm not saying if you mix these ingredients together, your skin is literally gonna die. Like your skin cells are literally just gonna collapse. It's not what I'm saying at all. I have used some of these ingredients before. And if you watch that video that I just talked about, you will see that I am just giving you guys details from like, you know, research, research and like controlled groups, scientific journals. Please don't take this video wrong with it. Make it personal to you and see what works for you. Just because I'm saying this ingredient doesn't work doesn't mean it doesn't work for everyone, okay? Now let's get into the video. I'm just gonna sort of go through the ingredients like I did in that video. The first one that could be problematic is retinoids and BHAs. And the reason is because these two can cause irritation. It's just too much on your skin. BHAs like salicylic acid and then the retinoids, like they're 0.5 to 1% retinoids. Maybe you combine like a slower dosage, like a 0.5% retinoid with the standard 2% BHA salicylic acid, you should be fine. But I wouldn't mix like a 1% retinoid on the ordinary with 2%. Those two can really cause irritation. 1% retinoid is already too much for the skin, especially skin of color. It can trigger hyperpigmentation and post inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So you really, really want to be careful with this one. Yeah, if you're gonna do it, start with the low dose and do a salicylic acid with it. So next is vitamin C and AHA. So these two actually make each other less effective. They don't synergize each other. They don't increase potency levels of each other. They reduce each other's ability to do what they're supposed to be doing. So AHA is like lactic acid, mandelic acid. Mandelic acid, you should probably will be fine, but definitely wouldn't combine ascorbic acid with their uh, high percent lactic acid, for example, like the 10%. Um, so yeah, definitely watch out for that one again doesn't mean it's true for everyone very subjective okay next one is vitamin c and retinoids this one is actually pretty controversial but um the studies that i saw showed that these two can be really irritating with each other which i can see that ascorbic acid is already pretty high especially if you use 100 percent l-ascorbic acid which i really hate from the ordinary imagine using that with one percent retinol your skin will be burning now I will say that this one I will say for a fact, yes, please do not use those two together. Those two can be really irritating. If you really have to use both, please use retinoids at night and then vitamin C in the morning, especially if you use that high of a dosage. Uh, yeah, definitely wouldn't recommend. So going into ingredients that you should be using together from the ordinary to help increase each other's potency levels and synergize each other to give you more beautiful skin and you know to continue just strengthening that skin barrier. The first one I want to talk about is the vitamin C. There are any ascorbic acid except for the 100% ascorbic acid. The powder is just not my favorite. There is ascorbic acid with their resveratrol and ferulic acid. These are amazing. They will boost each other's properties. Ferulic acid actually helps vitamin C remain stable for a longer period of time. So these three together Ah, uh, these three ingredients, chef's kiss. You want these three together in your skincare routine, especially if you're investing in their vitamin C. Next is the niacinamide and salicylic acid, BHA. Niacinamide, the one from the Ordinary for People of Color, I just, not, I'm not a fan. I prefer the one from, uh, I believe Good Moguls has the 5%. And uh, Glossier as well, but this 10%, if your skin tolerates it, go for it. But mixing it with your salicylic acid or using it with salicylic acid in the skincare routine is amazing. Amazing for your skin barrier. So definitely recommend. Next is a caffeine solution and ascorbic acid. These two are great for each other because caffeine actually helps to circulate, uh, helps in blood circulation. And then vitamin C, as you guys know, is great for brightening because it's an antioxidant. So those two together will really, really work to help improve texture and brighten your skin. Finally, here we have niacinamide and retinoids. Again, I wouldn't use if your skin tolerance said again, like I said, go for it, but the 10% from the ordinary seems to be a little too high, but if your skin tolerance said go for it. So just niacinamide and retinoids. Any other retinoids, if your skin tolerance said again, because I know all the people that be listening to my channel sometimes always gonna come for me and be like, well, I've used the 1%. If you've used it and it works, great. But I would personally go for the 0.2% as proof of color skin is very, very sensitive. So 
maybe the 0.2 or 0.5% mixed with their niacinamide would be perfect for your skin. I hope this video has helped you navigate the ordinary website a little bit better. Please leave me any questions that you may have down below. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials. I'm at April Bassi everywhere. At the end of the video, you I'll link a few more relevant videos that you might want to check out. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.